I'm Adam Balkin. This car, you plug in and recharge at night just like you would your cell phone. Then when you get up in the morning, it's designed to take the average American to and from work or errands without ever using a single drop of gasoline. It's not technically a plug-in hybrid. Instead, Chevy calls its Volt an extended-range electric vehicle. What it means is that you have the ability to drive pure electric for 40 miles, but after 40 miles, even when the battery is depleted, you have a small engine generator set generating electricity and provides you with several hundred miles of, uh, of driving. It's a flex fuel engine, so it can run off ethanol, it can use gasoline. So unlike a plug-in hybrid like Toyota and most other car companies are working on, with the Volt, when gas does kick in, it doesn't ever directly feed the engine. It feeds a generator, which in turn feeds the engine electricity. And though the Volt does hold that promise of more mileage on pure electricity, depending on what you're doing in the car, like blasting the AC, that 40 miles on one charge could drop. In terms of performance, the Volt goes 0 to 60 in under 9 seconds and tops out at 100 miles an hour. You can experience a launch feeling in the Volt like a V6 250 horsepower engine, but the big difference is it, everything happens without noise. And as you might expect, when driving on electricity only, without harmful emissions as well. Now you may be thinking, okay, it may save me a little bit at the gas pump, but isn't this going to cause a huge spike in my home electricity bill? Well, actually, developers say what it would cost to charge this each night would be much less than what it costs you to run your air conditioning or your home heating. This actually falls somewhere in between your water heater and your clothes dryer. Developers estimated it would cost you about 80 cents a day to operate this car. Adding a vault to your household, if you get off-peak rates from your utility company, is probably only adding a little bit more than 10% to your electricity bill. Possibly the best thing about this car, though, it's not just concept. It will actually go on sale in 2010 about a year after competing plug-in hybrids hit the market. Price has not yet been set. Adam Balkin, New York One.